Freddy expressly handled any and all situations. Even where we sought one good reason to use our powers on a human simply to inflict pain or punishment, he would have us save it. Just save it. No need to go there. The alchemy was a gift not to be stained by questionable practices, he believed, but dedicated to the drawing of the vital source. I guess you could say he was old school, Freddy. I tried to understand, and the best sense I could make of it was we were not to go after humans the way humans had once gone after us. And while he was under cars doing his work, Bless and I inevitably got around to pushing one another around to expend that sort of energy we had built up, the animosity toward this world made by and for the humankind, fighting and scraping like a couple of kittens in the yard, no claws, not even much of bloodshed. He acted like he didn't like all our roughhousing, but truthfully he heard us and watched us and cherished having us around, no matter what. He knew the streets as well as anybody knew the streets, Freddy. He could not be taken down, could not be done in. Only he could do himself in, or take himself down, and sometimes did. I saw it. We are often that way. It can be sad or even tragic, but mostly it's manageable if we stay conscious with our lives and don't drip off the edges. I know it sounds like a lot of bullshit, but... Anything that cannot really be put into words comes off that way. How can one explain what it feels like coming out from under cultural deceptions and lies that held you down in your naivete? How it feels to one day discover you're not even of the world as you thought? A different frequency whistle brought us conscious again, and it was like the day started over. The pavement wasn't hard on my back but soft, like I was lying in the grass, and the sky, the sky was a complacent blue again, not the silver it had been moments before. And Bless was no longer a non-best friend forever, and I was no longer a fury. I had my best friend back, but when I asked her to please get up off me, she didn't, and I softly rubbed her shoulder. Bless, you okay? And she was breathing and opening her eyes and relaxed. Freddie said, hello? And I said, bless? And went to push her off, but she stopped me, quiet-like, and calmly pinned my arm back down. She saw I was wearing the amulet she gave me long ago with a scarab of nephrite and silver falling off my neck to the ground. And she got animated and let up on me and scooped it up off the ground with her hand, looking at it to see if it was chipped or anything, and rubbed it between her fingers, then placed it with her thumb in the pool, the indentation below my throat, and the silver felt cool to me, and our breathing got quiet as she looked me in the eyes, and she kissed me. And this is the part that really messes with my mind, because she's right knowing me better than myself or whatever because you see I didn't but I really wanted so bad to kiss her back <laughs>